Have you ever wondered how social media influencers make money? It's a question that's crossed many minds. These digital celebrities with their seemingly effortless charm and charisma have turned their online presence into lucrative businesses. It's a fascinating world, one that's as diverse as it is dynamic. Social media influencers are individuals who have built a reputation for their knowledge and expertise on specific topics. They make regular posts about that topic on their preferred social media channels and generate large followings of individuals who pay close attention to their views. Brands love social media influencers because they can reach audiences that are hard to find through traditional media. In the next 75 minutes, we're going to take a deep dive into the power of social media and the earning potential it holds. We'll explore various platforms, each with its unique attributes and opportunities, from the bite-sized content of YouTube Shorts and TikTok to the immersive experiences of Facebook videos and Reels. We'll even look at the live streaming world of Twitch and the visually driven network of Instagram. Each platform offers distinct ways to connect, engage, and most importantly, generate income. On these platforms, influencers have found innovative ways to monetize their content and their influence. They've built brands, launched products, and even created their own companies. But how do they do it? What are the secrets of their success? And how can you too tap into the earning power of social media? Beyond the platforms, we'll also delve into the world of brand sponsorships. These partnerships can be a significant source of income for influencers, providing both financial support and increased visibility. Brand sponsorships are a win-win, offering brands access to an influencer's engaged audience and giving influencers the resources they need to create even better content. There's a world of opportunity out there, waiting for those who are willing to take the leap. It's a world where creativity, authenticity, and engagement are the currencies of success. So whether you're a budding influencer or simply curious about the mechanics of this digital universe, this journey is for you. Stay tuned as we delve into the nitty gritty of each platform. Ever thought about making money through YouTube Shorts? Here's how it works. Imagine a world where viewers are constantly scrolling, hungry for content that's as quick and addictive as a candy bar. Welcome to the land of YouTube Shorts. It's a platform within YouTube where videos are no longer than 60 seconds, designed for quick consumption and a perfect avenue for content creators to earn money. So how does it work? Let's break it down. First things first, YouTube Shorts is all about brevity. It's about capturing attention and delivering value within a minute. That might sound challenging, but it's an exciting opportunity to be creative and engaging. Now let's talk about the money-making part. There are several ways to earn through YouTube Shorts. One of the most common is through ad revenue. This is where YouTube places ads either before, during, or after your video. The revenue generated from these ads is then split between YouTube and you, the content creator. It's important to note that your channel needs to be part of the YouTube Partner Program to earn ad revenue, which means you need at least 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months. Another way to earn is through channel memberships. This is a feature where your subscribers can pay a monthly fee to get perks like badges, new emojis, and access to members-only videos. It's a fantastic way to build a community while also earning a steady income. Let's not forget about the merchandise shelf. If you have your own merchandise, you can display it right under your YouTube shorts. It's an excellent way to promote your products and earn extra income. There's also Super Chat, a feature that allows viewers to pay to have their comments highlighted during your live streams. It's a fun way to interact with your audience and make money at the same time. Last but not least, there's YouTube Premium Revenue. This is a share of the fee that YouTube Premium subscribers pay. If these subscribers watch your shorts, you'll get a piece of the pie. Now, you might be wondering, how much can you actually earn? Well, it varies. It depends on factors like your content's quality, how many views it gets, and your audience's location. But one thing's for sure, if you're consistent and dedicated, YouTube Shorts can be a lucrative platform. It does take time and effort. You need to understand your audience, create engaging content, and promote your shorts. But with patience and persistence, the payoff can be sweet. In a nutshell, YouTube Shorts is a platform that rewards creativity and engagement. It's a space where you can share your stories, your skills, or even your silliness all within a minute. And the best part? You can earn money while doing it. Remember, the key to success on YouTube Shorts, like any other platform, is authenticity. 
Be true to who you are, create content that you love, and your audience will follow. That's how YouTube Shorts can turn into big bucks. Next up, TikTok. TikTok isn't just for dance trends. It's also a platform for earning. Let's see how. As we dive into the world of TikTok, it's important to understand that this platform is more than just a space for viral dances and trending challenges. It's a vibrant marketplace where creativity can literally pay your bills. The key revenue generators on TikTok include the Creator Fund, Live Gifts, and brand partnerships. Firstly, let's talk about the TikTok Creator Fund. This is an initiative put together by TikTok to directly reward its creators for their hard work and creativity. It's as though TikTok has its own economy where creativity is the currency. This fund is currently available in certain regions, including the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, France, and Spain. It's a pool of over $200 million in growing dedicated to supporting creators who are active, popular, and compliant with TikTok's rules. To qualify for this fund, a creator needs to be at least 18 years old, have at least 10,000 followers, and have garnered at least 10,000 video views in the last 30 days. If you meet the criteria, you can apply to be a part of this program and start earning for your creativity. Next, we have TikTok's Live Gifts feature. This is an interactive way for creators to earn directly from their followers. When creators go live on TikTok, their viewers can purchase and send virtual gifts during the broadcast as a way of showing their support. These gifts are bought with TikTok coins, which are purchased with real money. The creators can then convert these gifts back into coins and then into real money. It's a fun and engaging way for creators to monetize their content and engage with their audience in real time. Lastly, but certainly not least, are brand partnerships. This is where the big bucks are often made. Brands are always on the lookout for popular creators who can help them reach a wider audience. When a creator partners with a brand, they get paid to create content that features the brand's product or service. This can be anything from a subtle product placement in a video to a full-blown sponsored challenge. The key here is authenticity. The most successful partnerships are those where the creator genuinely likes the product and the brand aligns with their personal brand and audience. To make the most out of brand partnerships, creators need to be proactive. Reach out to brands that align with your content and audience. Showcase your value by presenting your engagement rates, follower demographics, and creative ideas for promoting their product. Remember, it's not just about having millions of followers. Even creators with a smaller, more niche audience can land brand partnerships if they can demonstrate high engagement rates and a loyal following. So there we have it. TikTok isn't just a place to share fun videos. It's a platform where creators can turn their passion into a paycheck. Whether you're a comedian, a dancer, a chef, a fitness enthusiast, or just someone with a unique perspective to share, there's a space for you on TikTok. And with the right approach, that space can be quite profitable. However, it's important to note that success on TikTok, like any other platform, requires consistency, creativity, and a genuine connection with your audience. It's not an overnight gold rush, but with persistence and a clear strategy, it can certainly become a significant revenue stream. With creativity and consistency, TikTok can be a gold mine. But what about Facebook? Facebook isn't just for connecting with friends, it's a platform for profit. Here's how. When we think of Facebook, we often imagine a space where we catch up with old friends or share photos of our latest adventures. But there's a lot more to Facebook than just that. With the right approach, it can serve as a gold mine for those looking to earn an income online. Let's delve into the ways you can monetize your influence on Facebook. Firstly, we have Facebook videos. They say a picture is worth a thousand words, but a video can tell an entire story. Facebook videos allow creators to share engaging content with their followers and in turn, profit from it. By using ad breaks in your videos, you can earn money directly from your content. Ad breaks are short ads that can be inserted into your Facebook videos, and they work similar to the way commercials do on television. Each time an ad break plays during your video, you get a cut of the revenue. The more engaging your content, the more ad breaks you can incorporate and the more revenue you can generate. But ad breaks aren't the only way to earn money from Facebook videos. There's also the option of fan subscriptions. With fan subscriptions, your followers can pay a monthly fee to get exclusive benefits, 
such as behind-the-scenes content, early access to new videos, or even a badge highlighting their support for your page. It's a great way to foster a closer connection with your audience while also creating a steady stream of income. Now let's talk about Facebook Reels. Much like Instagram and TikTok, Facebook Reels are short, engaging videos that can be packed with creativity. They are designed to be quick and easy to watch, making them perfect for capturing the attention of your audience. But how do they generate income? Well, Facebook has introduced a new monetization feature for Reels called Bonuses. Bonuses are payments made to creators based on the performance of their Reels. The better your Reels perform, the more you earn. It's as simple as that. Then we have Facebook Stars. This feature is a fun and interactive way for your followers to support you financially. Stars are virtual gifts that fans can buy and send to you during your live videos. Each star you receive translates into a small amount of money, which can quickly add up if you have an engaged and supportive audience. Finally, we can't forget about brand collaborations. As your influence grows on Facebook, brands may approach you to promote their products or services. This could involve creating sponsored posts or videos featuring their products, or even partnering with them for long-term campaigns. These partnerships can be highly lucrative, making them a key part of any successful social media monetization strategy. So, there you have it. Facebook isn't just a place to connect with friends or share your latest holiday snaps. It's a platform where creativity and influence can translate into a real income. From ad breaks in your videos and fan subscriptions, to Facebook Reels and Stars, there are numerous ways to monetize your Facebook page. And with brand collaborations thrown into the mix, the earning potential is vast. Remember, success on Facebook, like any social media platform, doesn't come overnight. It takes time, effort, and a lot of creativity. But with persistence and a bit of savvy, you can turn your Facebook page into a profitable business. Facebook provides multiple ways to monetize your influence. Now let's switch gears to Twitch. Think you can earn money playing video games on Twitch? You bet, here's how. Welcome to the realm of Twitch, where gaming is not just a hobby, but a potential gold mine. Twitch, an Amazon-owned platform, is a live streaming service that's become a home for gamers and other lifestyle casters who support themselves and their gaming habits by broadcasting their skills and talents to the world. So how does this work? Well, the first step is simple play video games. But Twitch isn't just about gaming, it's about community. It's about creating an engaging, enjoyable space where people want to hang out and watch you game. It's about being a personality as much as it is about being a gamer. Now let's talk about the different ways you can earn money on Twitch. The first and most direct way is through donations. These come from your viewers, who can donate directly to you during your live streams. The beauty of donations is that there's no limit to how much you can receive. Some viewers might drop a couple of dollars your way, while others might donate hundreds or even thousands. It's unpredictable, but it can be quite lucrative. Next up is ad revenue. If you're a Twitch affiliate or partner, you can earn money from ads that play on your stream. The more viewers you have, the more potential ad revenue you can earn. So building an audience is key. Subscriptions are another source of income on Twitch. Viewers can subscribe to your channel for a monthly fee. In return, they get benefits like ad-free viewing and access to exclusive emotes. There are three tiers of subscriptions, each with its own price point and benefits, which means more options for your viewers and more potential income for you. But the revenue streams don't stop there. Sponsorships are another way to make money on Twitch. Brands are always on the lookout for influencers and streamers to partner with. If you have a substantial following and can engage your audience, brands might be willing to pay you to promote their products or services. This could be anything from gaming equipment to energy drinks to clothing lines. The key here is to partner with brands that align with your image and audience. In addition to these revenue streams, there's also the chance to earn money through Twitch's bits. Bits are a virtual currency that viewers can buy from Twitch and use to cheer for their favorite streamers. As a streamer, you earn one cent for every bit that's cheered in your channel. It might not sound like much, but it can add up quickly, especially if you have a large, enthusiastic audience. And let's not forget about merchandise. If you've built a strong brand and have a loyal following, you can sell merchandise like t-shirts, mugs, or stickers with your logo or catchphrase. 
It's another way to earn money while also strengthening your brand and community. But remember, earning money on Twitch isn't just about playing games and collecting donations. It's about building a community and creating engaging content. It's about being consistent, being patient, and being yourself. It's about turning your passion for gaming into a career. With Twitch, you're not just gaming the system, you're redefining it. You're proving that you can turn a hobby into a lucrative business, that you can turn fun into funds. So if you're a gamer with a knack for entertaining and a love for community building, Twitch might just be your ticket to turning your passion into profits. With Twitch, gaming can turn into earning, but what about Instagram? Instagram isn't just for pretty pictures, it's a platform for profit. Let's uncover how. In the world of social media, Instagram is the glossy magazine of the digital age, a platform where aesthetics and engagement merge to create unique opportunities for monetization. With over a billion active users worldwide, Instagram is not just a space for selfies and food photos, but a lucrative market for those who know how to navigate it. So how can you transform your Instagram account into a stream of income? There are three main routes to consider, IGTV ads, brand partnerships, and shoppable posts. Let's dive into each one. First up, IGTV ads. IGTV or Instagram television is Instagram's platform for long form video content. It's like the YouTube of Instagram. When you create engaging video content on IGTV, you can monetize it through ads. Much like traditional television or YouTube, these ads play before your video starts and you earn a share of the revenue generated from these ads. It's a fantastic opportunity for those who have a knack for creating captivating video content that keeps viewers hooked. Next, we have brand partnerships. This is one of the most common ways influencers and content creators can make money on Instagram. Brands are always on the lookout for popular Instagrammers to collaborate with to reach a larger audience. If you have a significant following and engagement rate, brands might approach you for partnerships or you can reach out to them. These partnerships can take various forms, from sponsored posts and stories to affiliate marketing. The key to a successful brand partnership is authenticity. You need to partner with brands that align with your personal brand and content and that your audience will find valuable. Finally, we have shoppable posts. This is a feature that allows businesses and creators to tag products in their posts, which users can click on to buy directly within the Instagram app. If you have your own products to sell, whether it's clothing, art, beauty products, or even digital goods, shoppable posts can be a game changer. It streamlines the buying process for your followers and can significantly boost your sales. But remember, regardless of the monetization route you choose, the key to making money on Instagram lies in your content and your engagement. You need to create high quality, engaging content that resonates with your audience and encourages them to interact with you. The more engagement you have, the more attractive you become to brands and the higher the likelihood that your followers will want to support you by purchasing your products or watching your IGTV videos. Building a profitable Instagram account doesn't happen overnight. It requires strategy, consistency, and a deep understanding of your audience. You need to know what kind of content they like, when they're most active on Instagram, and what kind of products or brands they're interested in. This understanding will guide your content strategy and help you create posts that not only attract, but also retain followers. And let's not forget about the power of hashtags. Hashtags are like the SEO of Instagram. They help make your content discoverable to users who aren't following you yet. Use relevant and popular hashtags in your posts to increase your reach and attract more followers. Instagram is more than just a social media platform. It's a marketplace, a community, and for many, a source of income. With the right approach and a little creativity, you too can tap into the earning potential of Instagram and transform your account into a profitable business. Instagram can be a profitable platform with the right strategy. Now let's talk brand sponsorships. Brand sponsorships can be a game changer. Here's why. Brand sponsorships, a term that is music to the ears of many social media influencers. But what exactly does it mean? Simply put, brand sponsorships are when a company pays you, the influencer, to promote their product or service on your social media platform. Sounds like an easy way to make money, right? Well, it can be, but there's a lot more to it than just posting a picture with a product. First, let's talk about the process of securing sponsorships. 
it's not as simple as waiting for brands to come knocking at your door. You need to be proactive. Start by identifying brands that align with your personal brand and your audience's interests. Once you've got a list, reach out to them. Send a professional email detailing who you are, what your platform is about, and how a partnership could be beneficial for both parties. Now you might be thinking, why would a brand want to sponsor me? And that's where the importance of a loyal following comes in. Brands are not just looking for influencers with a large number of followers. They're looking for influencers whose followers are engaged, active, and invested in the content being posted. Because at the end of the day, it's not about how many people see the sponsored content, but how many people act on it. So how do you build a loyal following? Be authentic. Share your real experiences, post consistently, and engage with your audience. Respond to comments, ask for feedback, and show appreciation for their support. Building a loyal following takes time and effort, but it's an investment that pays off when it comes to securing brand sponsorships. Once you've landed a potential brand sponsorship, it's time to negotiate the deal. This can be a daunting task, but remember, you bring value to the table. Don't sell yourself short. Consider factors like the time and effort it will take to create the sponsored content, the potential reach of the content, and the exclusivity of the partnership. Don't be afraid to negotiate the terms. If the initial offer doesn't meet your expectations, propose a counteroffer, but be reasonable. You want to foster a positive relationship with the brand. And remember, it's not always about the money. Sometimes a partnership can offer other benefits like exposure to a new audience, free products or services, or opportunities for future collaborations. In the negotiation process, make sure to clarify all the details of the partnership. What exactly does the brand expect from you? How many posts do they want? What should the posts include? When should they be posted? Having a clear understanding of the expectations will help you deliver a successful sponsored content. And lastly, always be transparent with your audience about sponsored content. Not only is it a legal requirement in many regions, but it also helps maintain trust with your audience. Let them know that you've partnered with a brand and that you're being compensated for it, but also assure them that you wouldn't promote a product or service that you don't believe in. Brand sponsorships can be a lot of work but they can also be incredibly rewarding. They can significantly boost your earnings as a social media influencer and open doors to new opportunities. They can help you build stronger relationships with your audience and take your personal brand to new heights. So don't shy away from brand sponsorships. Embrace them, use them to grow your platform, to provide value to your audience and to make a living doing what you love. Brand sponsorships can significantly boost your earnings as a social media influencer. Let's recap what we've discovered about making money on social media. We've explored the earning potential of YouTube Shorts, where brevity, creativity, and a dash of good humor can result in a sweet monetary reward. TikTok offers a similar opportunity, rewarding unique and engaging content with not just likes, but a tangible income. Facebook, once a platform for connecting with friends, has evolved into a vast marketplace where videos and reels can be monetized. And let's not forget about Twitch, where gamers can turn their passion into profit. Then we have Instagram, where visually engaging content and strategic use of hashtags can attract the right kind of attention and subsequently, the right kind of sponsorship deals. Speaking of which, brand partnerships represent a significant chunk of potential earnings as companies are eager to tap into the influence of social media personalities. With the right approach, social media isn't just for fun, it's a platform for profit. Have you ever dreamed of working from anywhere in the world? Imagine being able to explore new cities, experience diverse cultures, all while earning your living. This lifestyle isn't just a figment of your imagination, it's the reality for a growing community known as digital nomads. But what exactly is a digital nomad? Well, in essence, digital nomads are individuals who leverage the power of technology to work remotely, allowing them to live a location-independent lifestyle. They are writers, designers, software developers, consultants, and so much more. What unites them is their shared desire to break free from the traditional nine to five grind and experience the world on their own terms. This lifestyle is all about freedom and flexibility freedom to choose where you live and work, to set your own schedule, 
to live according to your own rules. It's about trading in the monotony of a daily commute for the thrill of waking up in a new location, your office view ever-changing. It's about choosing experiences over possessions, adventures over routine. But it's not just about the freedom to travel. It's also about the freedom to create a work-life balance that suits you. Instead of being tied to an office, digital nomads can choose to work from a quiet home, a bustling cafe, or a serene beach. They can take a break to explore a new city, or spend an afternoon surfing, and then get back to work when they're ready. Being a digital nomad also means having the flexibility to adapt to changing circumstances. If a place isn't working out, you can pack up and move on. If an opportunity presents itself in a different time zone, you can adjust your schedule to seize it. The digital nomad lifestyle is a testament to the endless possibilities that our interconnected world offers. It's a bold departure from tradition, a step into the unknown, and an invitation to live life on your own terms. Imagine, your office could be a beach in Bali, a cafe in Paris, or even your own cozy home. The world is your oyster when you're a digital nomad. So why the sudden surge in digital nomadism? A question many are asking as they see more and more people trading in their 9-to-5 office jobs for a life of work and travel. This rise in digital nomadism is not an accident, but a response to various factors that have converged in recent years. Firstly, advancements in technology have significantly facilitated this transition. With the advent of reliable and accessible internet connectivity almost everywhere in the world, it's now possible to work from a beach in Bali or a cafe in Paris just as effectively as if you were in an office in New York. The proliferation of laptops, smartphones and cloud-based software has made it easier than ever to work remotely. Secondly, there's been a substantial shift in work culture. More and more companies are recognizing the benefits of remote work, including increased productivity, lower operational costs and greater employee satisfaction. This has led to a rise in the number of jobs that can be done remotely across a wide range of industries. But perhaps the most significant factor driving the rise of digital nomads is a growing desire for a better work-life balance. The traditional model of working long hours in an office with little time for personal pursuits or relaxation is being challenged. People are seeking more flexibility in their work, the freedom to set their own hours and the opportunity to explore new places while still earning a living. This new breed of workers, the digital nomads, are not just freelancers or entrepreneurs. They're individuals from all walks of life, from corporate executives to teachers who have found a way to combine their profession with their passion for travel and adventure. The rise of digital nomads is a reflection of a changing world, a world where work is no longer confined to a specific location but can be done from anywhere, at any time. A world where technology is breaking down barriers and opening up new possibilities. The world is evolving and so is the way we work. You might be wondering, can anyone become a digital nomad? Indeed, the idea of being a digital nomad can seem elusive, like a dream only a select few can attain. But let's dispel that myth right away. In reality, digital nomadism isn't restricted to a specific profession or skill set. In the digital age, the world of remote work is vast and varied. Think of it this way. Any job that can be done remotely, with a computer and a reliable internet connection, can potentially pave the way to a nomadic lifestyle. This includes, but is not limited to, fields like writing, graphic design, programming, digital marketing, consulting, teaching, and so much more. Perhaps you're a writer, crafting stories, or creating content for the digital sphere. Or maybe you're a graphic designer, turning ideas into compelling visuals. You could be a programmer, building websites and apps that make the digital world tick. Or perhaps you're a digital marketer, driving online traffic and boosting brand visibility. Maybe you're a consultant, offering expert advice in your field of specialization. Or you could be a teacher, imparting knowledge and skills to students around the globe. These professions, and many others, can be done from anywhere in the world, giving you the freedom to live the nomadic lifestyle. But even if your current job does not fit neatly into the remote work mold, don't be discouraged. The digital world is constantly evolving, creating new opportunities and roles that didn't exist a few years ago. 
With the right mindset and a willingness to learn and adapt, you can acquire the skills needed to join the ranks of digital nomads. Remember, becoming a digital nomad is not about having a certain job title or a specific skill set. It's about embracing a lifestyle that values freedom, flexibility, and the thrill of exploring new places while pursuing your career. So whether you're an artist or an accountant, a teacher or a tech guru, the digital nomad life is within your reach. All it takes is a laptop, a reliable internet connection, and a dash of wanderlust. In the digital age, the world is your office. Ready to take the leap? Here's how you can prepare for the transition. First off, let's talk about the nitty-gritty, legal and visa requirements. It's crucial to fully research the countries you're considering. Every country has different laws and regulations about how long you can stay and what kind of work you can do. Some countries even offer specific visas for digital nomads. You should also be aware of any tax implications. Your legal status will affect how and when you file your taxes, so make sure to consult with a tax professional. Next up is setting up a reliable internet connection. As a digital nomad, the internet is your lifeline. Without it, you can't work. So it's essential to ensure you have a solid connection wherever you go. Consider investing in a good mobile hotspot or look into international data plans. Remember, not every picturesque beach or mountaintop will have Wi-Fi. Be prepared to adapt and have a backup plan. Now, let's talk about finances. Transitioning to a nomadic lifestyle is not without its financial challenges. It's a good idea to have a financial cushion before you make the leap. You should also consider how you'll manage your finances while on the move. Will you keep a home base or will you go fully nomadic? How will you receive payments from clients or employers? These are all questions you'll need to answer. Additionally, it's worth considering health insurance. Many traditional policies won't cover you while you're abroad, so you'll need to look into international health insurance options. And don't forget about travel insurance. It can cover you for things like lost luggage or flight cancellations. Finally, consider your work situation. If you're already working remotely, great. If not, you'll need to figure out how to transition your current role into a remote one or find a new job that allows you to work from anywhere. There are plenty of online resources and job boards dedicated to remote work. It may take some time and effort, but with persistence, you can find the right fit. Remember, preparation doesn't just mean packing your bags and hitting the road. It's about setting up systems and processes that will allow you to work effectively and live comfortably, no matter where in the world you are. It's about understanding the challenges you'll face and preparing for them ahead of time. This transition may seem daunting, but with the right preparation, it can be an exciting and fulfilling journey. You're not just changing your location, you're changing your lifestyle. You're embracing freedom, flexibility, and the thrill of the unknown. You're becoming a part of a global community of people who value experiences over possessions, who choose their own paths, who live life on their own terms. Preparation is key to a successful transition, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. What are the challenges of being a digital nomad? Like any lifestyle, being a digital nomad comes with its own set of challenges. It's not just about basking in the sun on a beach with your laptop. It's about facing the real, sometimes gritty challenges that come with this way of life. One of the first hurdles you might encounter is loneliness. Being on the road constantly means leaving behind familiar faces and places. It's not unusual to feel a pang of isolation when you're in a new city or country, surrounded by people, but not really knowing anyone. But remember, loneliness is not a permanent state. It's a feeling that comes and goes. To combat this, make an effort to connect with others. Join local communities or digital nomad groups. Attend meetups or co-working spaces. You'll find many like-minded individuals who are also navigating the same path. You can share experiences, exchange ideas, and most importantly, foster a sense of belonging. Next, let's talk about time management. With the freedom of being your own boss comes the responsibility of managing your time efficiently. It's easy to get distracted, especially when you're in a new and exciting place. It's important to set a routine, establish work hours, and stick to them. 
This will help you stay productive and avoid the trap of all play and no work. Then there's maintaining a healthy work-life balance. It might seem like a dream to work from a beach in Bali or a cafe in Paris, but it's crucial to remember that work is just one aspect of your life. Make sure to carve out time for leisure, exploration and relaxation. Remember the aim is to live a fulfilling life, not just a productive one. Another challenge is dealing with unstable or unreliable internet connections. As a digital nomad, your work relies heavily on the internet. So always have a backup plan. Invest in a good data plan or find local spots with reliable Wi-Fi. And let's not forget about staying healthy. It's easy to neglect your health when you're on the go. Make sure to incorporate regular exercise into your routine. Maintain a balanced diet and get enough sleep. Finally, dealing with different time zones can be tricky, especially when you have clients or colleagues in various parts of the world. It's essential to stay organized and plan ahead. Use tools like world time zone converters and schedule meetings at times that work for everyone. Challenges exist, but they can be overcome. Remember, being a digital nomad means embracing all aspects of this lifestyle, the good, the bad, and everything in between. It's about facing challenges head on and finding ways to thrive despite them. So pack your bags, open your laptops, and embrace the journey of a digital nomad. Let's focus on the positive. What are the benefits of being a digital nomad? Imagine waking up in the morning, not to the sound of an alarm clock, but to the natural rhythms of the day. The sun is your cue to start, and the world is your office. This is just one of the many benefits of being a digital nomad. First and foremost, there is the freedom to travel. As a digital nomad, you're not tied to a specific location. You can work from a beach in Bali, a cafe in Paris, or a co-working space in New York City. Your office can be anywhere with a good internet connection. This lifestyle allows you to explore the world, meet new people, and immerse yourself in different cultures, all while maintaining your career. Next, there's the advantage of choosing your own work hours. Are you a night owl who feels most productive at midnight? Or perhaps an early bird who loves the quiet of dawn? As a digital nomad, you can tailor your work schedule to your natural rhythm. No more forcing yourself into a conventional nine to five routine. You can work when you're most productive and take breaks when you need them. Lastly, there's the opportunity to experience different cultures. Living in a new country, even for a short while, can broaden your perspective in ways you never imagined. You can learn a new language, try exotic foods, and understand different ways of life. This cultural immersion can enrich not only your personal life, but your professional life as well. You might find new ways of thinking, new ideas, and new inspiration that can be tremendously beneficial to your work. So, while it may not be without its challenges, the digital nomad lifestyle offers a unique blend of freedom flexibility, and cultural experiences. It's a lifestyle that embraces change, values experiences over possessions, and champions personal growth. The benefits of digital nomadism can outweigh the challenges. Don't just take our word for it. Hear it from real-life digital nomads. Let's dive into the narratives of those who've dared to step off the beaten path and embrace the nomadic lifestyle. Each story is unique, yet they all share a common thread the desire for freedom, adventure, and the ability to work from anywhere in the world. Meet Clara, a graphic designer from London. She was once confined to a nine to five job, spending more time in her cubicle than in her home. One day, she decided she'd had enough. She sold her possessions, packed up her laptop, and bought a one-way ticket to Bali. Today, she designs from beachfront cafes, lush gardens, and cozy homestays. She's not just surviving, she's thriving, living a life she once only dreamed of. Next, we have Raj, a software developer from Mumbai. He was tired of the city's daily hustle and bustle, the long commutes, and the endless traffic. He swapped his corporate attire for a backpack, his office for the world. Now he codes from the tranquil mountains of Himachal Pradesh, the serene beaches of Goa, and the bustling cafes of Bangalore. He's found a way to blend his love for travel and his passion for coding into a fulfilling lifestyle. And then there's Maria, a content writer from New York. She was living paycheck to paycheck, barely making ends meet. She decided to take a leap of faith and started freelancing. The transition wasn't easy, but she was determined. Now she writes from the quaint towns of Europe, the vibrant cities of Asia, 
and the picturesque landscapes of South America, she's not just making a living, she's making a life. Each of these individuals had their fair share of challenges. They had to figure out how to manage their time across different time zones, how to maintain a steady income, and how to adapt to new environments. But they all agree on one thing. It was worth it. Being a digital nomad isn't just about travel. It's about freedom and flexibility. It's about choosing your office view, setting your own hours, and deciding how you want to live your life. It's about breaking free from societal norms and embracing the unknown. These stories serve as a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and a good Wi-Fi connection. They show us that it doesn't matter where you come from or what your background is. If you have a skill that can be done online and a passion for travel, you too can become a digital nomad. These stories are proof that becoming a digital nomad is possible. It's not just a dream, it's a lifestyle that's within your reach. All you need to do is take that first step. Will you be the next Clara, Raj, or Maria? Only you can decide. Are you ready to start your journey as a digital nomad? Every great adventure begins with a single step, and becoming a digital nomad is no different. It's more than a lifestyle choice. It's a commitment to embracing the unknown, to stepping out of your comfort zone, and to opening yourself up to new experiences. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. It's time to take that first step towards your dream. It might seem daunting, but every step you take brings you closer to achieving your dreams. Just imagine waking up in a different city every month, meeting new people, experiencing different cultures, and all while doing work that you love. Now, that's not to say it'll be easy. There will be challenges, there will be obstacles, but remember these are all part of the journey. They're what make the adventure worthwhile. So, how do you start? It's simple. Start with a plan. Outline your goals, your dreams, what you want to achieve as a digital nomad. Then take the necessary steps to make that plan a reality. It could be as simple as starting a blog, becoming a freelancer, or even starting your own online business. The possibilities are endless. But remember, planning is just the first step. The most important thing is to take action. Dreams remain dreams until you decide to make them a reality. So don't wait for tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year. Start today. Start now. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. It's about the people you meet, the experiences you have, the memories you make, and the lessons you learn along the way. So are you ready to take the leap? Are you ready to start your journey? because there's a whole world out there waiting for you to explore. Your journey as a digital nomad starts now. Let's recap what we've learned today. Our journey began with the concept of a nomadic life, a lifestyle that is no longer a far-fetched fantasy, but a viable reality for many. We delved into the rise of digital nomads, a trend that has seen a significant boost in the last decade, transforming the way we perceive work and life. The digital revolution has made it possible for us to work from anywhere in the world, and an increasing number of people are embracing this opportunity. We then moved on to discuss who can become a digital nomad. The answer? Virtually anyone. Whether you're a writer, a coder, a designer, or an entrepreneur, as long as you have a skill that can be marketed online, you're a potential candidate for a nomadic lifestyle. Next, we talked about preparing for this transition. It's not just about packing your bags and booking a flight. It requires careful planning, financial stability, and a strong skill set. You need to be ready to adapt to new cultures, cope with loneliness, and manage your time effectively. We also touched on some challenges that digital nomads face. From finding reliable Wi-Fi to dealing with time zone differences, the nomadic life isn't always a bed of roses. But fear not, we also discussed the numerous benefits that come with it. The freedom to work from a beach in Bali or a cafe in Paris, the chance to experience different cultures, and the opportunity to meet people from all walks of life. We heard some inspiring real-life stories of individuals who have successfully navigated the world as digital nomads. Their journeys serve as a testament to the fact that with determination and the right mindset, you can live the life you've always dreamed of. Finally, we reminded you that your journey starts now. It's about taking that first step no matter how small. 
It's about daring to dream and having the courage to pursue that dream. Remember, the world is your office. Go and explore it. Picture an opportunity to redefine wealth and financial freedom. That's the power of Bitcoin. This isn't just a concept or an idea. Bitcoin is a tangible, unprecedented potential for wealth creation that is reshaping our understanding of money and investment. In the past, wealth was often confined to those with access to traditional investment opportunities. But Bitcoin, a decentralized digital currency, has changed the game. It's not tied to any government or institution, and its value is determined by the people who use it. This creates a level playing field where anyone, regardless of their economic background, can potentially grow their wealth. It's a bit like the Wild West of finance, but instead of gold rushes and claim jumpers, we have miners and traders. And instead of dusty trails and saloons, we have the internet and digital wallets. It's a new frontier and it's as exciting as it is unpredictable. But why Bitcoin? Why not something else? Well, Bitcoin was the first of its kind. It's the original cryptocurrency and it has proven itself to be resilient and adaptable. There's a certain beauty in Bitcoin's simplicity. It's digital money, no banks, no borders, no bureaucracy. It's global and local at the same time. It's a new kind of financial freedom, one that allows you to be in control of your own wealth. But like any investment, Bitcoin comes with its own set of challenges. It's volatile, it's complex, and it's not for the faint-hearted, but for those who are willing to learn, to adapt, and to take calculated risks, the rewards can be extraordinary. And let's be clear, Bitcoin is not a get-rich-quick scheme. It's a long-term investment, one that requires patience, strategy, and a bit of nerve. But for those who are willing to take the plunge, the potential for wealth creation is unlike anything we've seen before. So what exactly is Bitcoin and how does it work? Let's unravel the mystery. Bitcoin, a name that has been making waves in the financial world, is not as complex as it seems. So what is Bitcoin? At its core, Bitcoin is a type of digital currency or cryptocurrency that operates independently of a central authority. Bitcoin transactions are made with no middlemen, meaning no banks. It's a new kind of money that was invented by an unknown person or group of people using the name Satoshi Nakamoto and was released as open source software in 2009. Now let's talk about the technology that powers Bitcoin, blockchain. A blockchain is a public ledger containing all transaction data from anyone who uses Bitcoin. Transactions are added to blocks or the links of code that make up the chain, and each transaction must be recorded on a block. This technology ensures the integrity and chronological order of transactions, making it nearly impossible to alter previous transactions. It's like a public, digital, indestructible notary. This is what makes Bitcoin transactions secure and trustworthy. One of the key principles behind Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is the notion of decentralization. Unlike traditional currencies, which are issued by central banks, Bitcoin has no central monetary authority. Instead, it is underpinned by a peer-to-peer -peer computer network made up of its users' machines, akin to the networks that underpin BitTorrent, a file-sharing system. This decentralized nature of Bitcoin allows for greater transparency, security, and freedom from control by any single entity. Another crucial aspect of Bitcoin is the concept of digital scarcity. Bitcoin's protocol allows for a maximum of 21 million Bitcoins to ever be created. This limit is hard-coded into the system and cannot be changed. As of now, over 18 million Bitcoins have been mined, leaving less than 3 million left to be introduced into the system. This scarcity is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is seen as a store of value, similar to gold. It's also important to note that Bitcoin is divisible. The smallest unit of a Bitcoin is called a Satoshi, named after its creator. One Bitcoin can be divided into 100 million Satoshis. This divisibility makes Bitcoin suitable for microtransactions or micro-tipping, which is not possible with traditional money due to transaction fees. Bitcoin's value comes from its digital scarcity, the security of its protocol, and its potential as a hedge against inflation. It's a form of digital gold that can't be easily seized, censored, or controlled. It's a new kind of asset that the world has never seen before, and it's changing the way we think about money and finance. Now that you have a basic understanding of Bitcoin, you might be wondering how can one invest in it best? Investing in Bitcoin, like any other investment, requires a well-thought-out strategy. It's not a game of chance, but rather a calculated risk that can yield significant rewards if played right. 
Let's delve into some of the popular methods to invest in Bitcoin. One of the most common ways is buying and holding. It's as simple as it sounds. You purchase Bitcoin and hold on to it with the expectation that its value will increase over time. This long-term strategy is based on the belief that despite temporary market fluctuations, the value of Bitcoin will ultimately rise. Then we have trading, which is a more active approach. Bitcoin traders attempt to profit from short-term price fluctuations. They buy when the price is low and sell when it's high. This requires a deeper understanding of market trends and a keen eye for timing. Just remember, the higher the risk, the higher the potential reward and loss. Mining is another method. It involves using computer hardware to solve complex mathematical problems that validate Bitcoin transactions. Successful miners earn newly minted Bitcoins as a reward. However, it's worth noting that this method requires significant computational power and electricity, making it less accessible for the average investor. A key aspect of investing in Bitcoin, or any asset for that matter, is diversification. This means spreading your investments across a variety of assets to reduce risk. For instance, you could invest in Bitcoin, but also in other cryptocurrencies, stocks, bonds, or real estate. This way, if one investment doesn't perform well, you have others to fall back on. Now, it's essential to remember that while Bitcoin has proven to be a lucrative investment for some, it's not a guaranteed path to wealth. The world of cryptocurrency is highly volatile and unpredictable. Your investment could multiply in value or it could dwindle to nothing. While these strategies might sound promising, they are not without risks. Every investment carries a degree of risk and Bitcoin is no exception. Let's delve into the heart of the matter, the volatility of the Bitcoin market. Bitcoin is a roller coaster ride. Its value can skyrocket in a matter of hours, only to plummet just as quickly. This extreme price fluctuation is driven by a variety of factors, including market demand, investor sentiment, and global economic trends. For instance, in late 2017, the price of a single Bitcoin surged to nearly $20,000, only to crash down to $3,000 a year later. This kind of volatility can be nerve wracking for investors. But here's the thing. Volatility also means potential for high returns. When you invest in Bitcoin, you're not just buying a digital asset. You're placing a bet on the future of money itself. If Bitcoin continues to gain acceptance and use, the value could climb dramatically. Early adopters who bought Bitcoin for pennies have seen returns in the millions of percent. That's the kind of reward that makes investors sit up and take notice. But as with all investments, high potential returns come with high risk. One of the biggest risks in the Bitcoin market comes from regulatory changes. Governments around the world are still figuring out how to deal with cryptocurrencies. Some have embraced them while others have banned them outright. Changes in regulatory stances can have a significant impact on Bitcoin's value. Another risk comes from technological vulnerabilities. Bitcoin relies on complex cryptographic algorithms to secure transactions and control the creation of new units. If these algorithms were to be breached, it could undermine the entire Bitcoin system. Additionally, because Bitcoin transactions are irreversible, if your Bitcoin wallet is hacked or your private key is lost, there's no way to recover your investment. It's also worth noting that the Bitcoin market can be influenced by the actions of a few large players, often referred to as whales. These individuals or entities hold substantial amounts of Bitcoin and their buying or selling decisions can cause significant price swings. But don't let these risks scare you away from Bitcoin. There are ways to manage these risks and secure your investment. For instance, you can diversify your portfolio, keep abreast of regulatory changes, use secure wallets and apply other risk management techniques. In conclusion, Bitcoin investing is not for the faint hearted. It's a high risk, high reward game. It's about understanding the market, keeping an eye on the global economic and political landscape, and most importantly, knowing your risk tolerance. However, there are ways to mitigate these risks. And we'll be exploring these strategies in the next segment. Stay tuned. Effective risk management is the cornerstone of successful Bitcoin investing. Let's dive into some key strategies that can help you manage these risks. First and foremost, diversifying your investments. When you put all your eggs in one basket, the potential for loss is exponential. But by spreading your investments across different cryptocurrencies, you mitigate potential losses. This doesn't mean you should invest in every crypto coin you come across. Rather, it's about choosing a mix of cryptocurrencies that have potential 
and complement each other. Next, setting stop losses. In the volatile world of Bitcoin investing, the price can skyrocket one moment and plummet the next. This is where a stop loss comes in handy. A stop loss is essentially a predetermined level at which you decide to sell your Bitcoin to prevent further losses. It's like an emergency exit helping you get out before things get too hot. The third strategy is doing thorough research. It's crucial to understand what you're investing in. The world of Bitcoin is complex and rapidly changing. It's not enough to just follow the latest trends or tips from influencers. You need to understand the technology behind Bitcoin, its potential for growth, and the challenges it faces. This includes keeping up to date with the latest news, understanding market trends, and studying the historical performance of Bitcoin. Don't forget risk management isn't just about avoiding loss, it's about making sure you're in a position to take advantage of opportunities when they arise. It's about being prepared for the ups and downs and making informed decisions based on your understanding of the market. Remember, investing in Bitcoin isn't a ticket to overnight riches. It's a long-term commitment that requires patience, discipline, and a cool head. It's about understanding the risks and rewards and managing them effectively. By understanding and managing these risks, you can make informed decisions about your Bitcoin investments. And with that, you're one step closer to becoming a savvy Bitcoin investor. Now, let's delve deeper into the world of Bitcoin investment strategies. A journey into Bitcoin investment is akin to entering a labyrinth of possibilities, each path leading to different outcomes. In this vast maze, your strategy is your compass, guiding your decisions and shaping your financial future. Today, we'll explore some of these strategies, their merits and drawbacks, and for whom they might be ideal. Let's start with the simplest one, buy and hold. This strategy involves purchasing Bitcoin and holding onto it for a significant period, regardless of market fluctuations. The underlying belief is that Bitcoin's value will increase in the long run. The pros? It's straightforward and doesn't require constant monitoring of the market. The cons? It requires patience and a high tolerance for volatility. This strategy is best suited for those who believe in Bitcoin's long-term potential and can withstand the roller coaster ride of its price changes. Next up is day trading. This involves buying and selling Bitcoin within the same day, taking advantage of short-term price movements. The pros? It offers the potential for quick profits. The cons? It's time-consuming, requires a deep understanding of the market and carries a high risk. Day trading is ideal for those who are well-versed in market analysis and have the time to stay glued to their screens. Swing trading is another strategy that falls between buy and hold and day trading. Swing traders hold onto their Bitcoin for days or weeks, aiming to profit from short-term price swings. The pros? It's less time-consuming than day trading and could offer larger returns than buy and hold. The cons? It still requires a fair bit of market knowledge and some patience. Swing trading is best suited for those who can't commit the time for day trading but still want to actively participate in the market. Then there's Bitcoin mining where investors use computer hardware to solve complex mathematical problems and earn Bitcoin as a reward. The pros? It's a direct way to acquire Bitcoin without buying it. The cons? It requires substantial initial investment in hardware and has high ongoing electricity costs. Bitcoin mining is ideal for tech-savvy investors with access to cheap electricity. Lastly, we have Bitcoin funds and trusts, which allow investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin's price movements without owning the asset directly. The pros? It's simple, and it eliminates the need to manage digital wallets. The cons? It often comes with management fees and doesn't allow for direct ownership of Bitcoin. This strategy is best for those who prefer traditional investment vehicles and are hesitant about handling Bitcoin directly. And there you have it. A quick tour of the Bitcoin investment strategies. Each comes with its own set of advantages and challenges. Some strategies demand time and technical knowledge, while others require patience and a long-term vision. Some allow direct ownership of Bitcoin, while others offer indirect exposure. Ultimately, the best strategy depends on your individual circumstances, financial goals, and risk tolerance. It's crucial to do your own research, understand the intricacies of each strategy, and choose the one that aligns with your investment objectives. Remember, the key to successful investing is understanding your own financial goals and risk tolerance. Bitcoin's potential for wealth creation is immense, but it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. Remember, the world of Bitcoin investing is a thrilling roller coaster with its high peaks and deep valleys. 
It's a landscape that's constantly evolving and shifting, making it a challenging yet rewarding venture. However, it's not a realm for the hasty or the reckless. It's a journey that requires preparation, understanding, and above all, patience. Diving headfirst into Bitcoin investing without a solid foundation of knowledge is like trying to navigate the treacherous ocean without a compass. It's essential to do your research, understand the market trends, and be informed about the latest developments. The internet is a gold mine of resources, from online courses to forums and from blogs to podcasts. Use them to your advantage. Equip yourself with the knowledge you need to make informed decisions. Risk management, too, plays a crucial role in Bitcoin investing. It's not just about making profits, but also about protecting what you already have. Always remember, the higher the risk, the greater the potential reward, and vice versa. So, take calculated risks. Diversify your portfolio. Invest only what you can afford to lose. And most importantly, never let emotions drive your investment decisions. Patience, they say, is a virtue. And in the world of Bitcoin investing, it can be your most valuable asset. Bitcoin's price is known for its volatility. It can skyrocket one day and plummet the next. But don't let these fluctuations rattle you. Stay focused on your long-term goals. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is wealth. In conclusion, Bitcoin investing is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a game of patience, of strategy, and of resilience. It's about making informed decisions, managing risks, and staying the course no matter what. Bitcoin investing could be your ticket to financial freedom, but it's important to navigate this journey with knowledge and caution. So equip yourself with the right tools and embark on this exciting journey with confidence and poise. Are you considering the possibility of earning money online but aren't sure where to start? The digital age has opened up a world of opportunities and online platforms have become a fertile ground for income generation. One such platform is Fiverr, a global online marketplace offering tasks and services where you can tap into your skills and passions, transforming them into a steady income stream. If you're intrigued by the idea of earning money online, then Fiverr might just be the platform for you. So, what exactly is Fiverr and how can it help you earn money online? Well, Fiverr is a global online marketplace where individuals can offer their services called gigs. This platform is a melting pot of talents and skills where one can find anything from graphic design, writing, programming, to even life coaching and many more. What makes Fiverr stand out is its international reach. The platform is accessible from any corner of the globe, which means your services can be availed by anyone, anywhere. This broad audience can help you reach clients that would otherwise be inaccessible in a traditional marketplace. Fiverr also offers a level playing field. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, you have the opportunity to showcase your skills and earn money. In essence, Fiverr is a platform that connects freelancers with potential clients, allowing you to earn money from your skills and talents. Now that you have a brief understanding of what Fiverr is, how do you get started? Well, it's quite simple and straightforward. First things first, you'll need to create an account. Head over to Fiverr's website and click on the Join button. You can sign up using your email address or connect via your social media accounts like Facebook or Google. Once you've filled in the necessary information, you'll be sent a confirmation email. Click on the link in that email to verify your account. And voila, you're a member of the Fiverr community. The next crucial step is setting up your profile. Think of your profile as your business card on Fiverr. It's the first thing potential clients see and it's your chance to make a great first impression. Start by choosing a professional username that reflects the services you offer. Then, upload a clear, friendly, and professional profile picture. Remember, people trust faces, so a photo of yourself can go a long way in establishing trust and credibility. Now, onto the profile description. This is where you sell yourself. Describe your skills, experience, and what you can offer to clients. Be concise yet detailed and always keep it professional. Don't forget to mention any relevant qualifications or certifications you have. Another important part of your profile is the portfolio. This is where you showcase your work. 
Whether you're a graphic designer, a writer, a voiceover artist, or a digital marketer, this is the place to show off your best work. Make sure the samples you provide are of high quality and represent the kind of work you deliver to clients. Lastly, set your availability and response time. These tell potential clients when you're available to work and how quickly you can respond to their inquiries. Keep them realistic and manageable. Now, you might ask, why is having a professional and appealing profile so important? Well, it's because your profile is your first point of contact with potential clients. It's what they use to decide whether to hire you or not. A professional, well-crafted profile can significantly increase your chances of getting hired. Once you have your profile set up, you're ready to start offering your services. And that, my friends, is how you get started on Fiverr. Your profile is set and you're ready to dive in. But how do you create your first gig? Creating your first gig on Fiverr is like opening a brand new store in a bustling marketplace. It's thrilling, a little nerve-wracking, but mostly, it's a chance to showcase what you can do. In essence, a gig is your service packaged into a product that clients can purchase. To start with, you need to define your service. What can you do exceptionally well that others may need? Maybe you're a whiz at graphic design, or perhaps you've got an ear for music production. The key is to focus on your strengths and offer something that you can deliver with quality and consistency. Remember, your gig is a reflection of your skills and abilities. Next, you have to set your pricing. Fiverr allows you to offer three levels of service at different price points, basic, standard, and premium. A basic gig could be a simple logo design, while a premium gig might include multiple revisions and faster delivery times. It's important to price your services competitively, but don't undersell yourself. Consider the value you're providing and the time it takes to complete each gig. Now let's talk descriptions. A clear and accurate description not only outlines what you're offering, but also attracts the right clients. It's your chance to sell your service, so make sure to highlight your unique selling points, the benefits of your service, and why clients should choose you over others. And of course, always make sure your description is free of typos and grammatical errors. The importance of competitive pricing and quality service cannot be overstated. The marketplace is crowded and standing out is key. Offering top-notch service at a fair price will not only attract clients, but also encourage them to come back for more. With your first gig set up, you're ready to start attracting clients and earning money. Remember, your first gig is just the beginning. As you continue to refine your services and adapt to client needs, your Fiverr journey will only get more exciting and rewarding. Setting up is one thing, but how do you ensure success on Fiverr? The critical factor to thriving on Fiverr lies in three core principles. Exceptional customer service, delivering high quality work, and garnering positive reviews. These components work hand in hand to build your reputation on the platform. Let's talk about customer service. Remember, every communication with a client is an opportunity to showcase your professionalism and willingness to provide a great experience. Be prompt, courteous, and solution-oriented in your responses. Next, the quality of your work. This can't be stressed enough. Your work is a reflection of you. Make sure it's top-notch, meets the client's requirements, and exceeds their expectations. Now, on to reviews. Positive reviews boost your visibility and build trust with potential clients. They're your digital word of mouth, so strive to earn them. And guess what? Doing all this consistently could lead to becoming a top-rated seller, opening doors to more benefits, like priority customer support and eligibility for promotional listings. With dedication, professionalism and quality work, success on Fiverr is within your reach. So. Are you ready to take the leap and start earning money online with Fiverr? It's time to unlock your potential and transform your skills into a thriving online business. Remember, Fiverr is a platform that empowers you with the freedom to earn from anywhere, anytime. It's not just about making money, it's about taking control of your life. So, seize this opportunity, step into the world of Fiverr and let your talents flourish. Don't wait another day. 
Start selling on Fiverr now and turn your skills into earnings.